Hello and welcome to another Retro Core Hardware Review and we are in a different spot in the room today. We're not at the white desk but we will be there shortly. Anyway, long term followers of the channel will know that I've done a couple of products by Devoom in the past. And Devoom have been very kind and sent over their latest product which is on Kickstarter right now. So let's take a look at it. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you, this was a uh, given to me they asked me if I wanted to take a look at it and I said yeah why not because I did really enjoy their last products which I did buy um, but you know they don't uh, influence my opinion on this I can say whatever I want if it's complete garbage I can say that if it's really good I'll say that um, so yeah please be uh, aware that the opinions in this video are not at all uh, influenced by Devoom Although they did give me this nice product. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So uh, we'll give it a bit of an open here with the knife. And it's got the actual uh, Devoom tape on it. So it's come straight from the factory in Hong Kong. I believe that's where it came from, if I remember rightly. So uh, let's take a look and see what it is. This could be one of two products actually. But I think this is going to be the big nice one that I was uh, hoping to get. Oh yeah, yes it is. Nothing else in that. Nope. All right. All right. This is it. Take a look at that. All right. This is the Pix U64. I like that packing. Let's uh, open it up. Nice packing there. So yes, this is the Pixu 64, I presume that's how you say it. Let's get over to the white table and take a closer look. Okay, we're back over in the usual place on the white table. So as you can see, taking a look at the box, it says it's a social media tracker. Now that's what I was interested in. Pixel art creation, well, most of their stuff does that. Music visualizer and interior lighting decoration. Hmm, I guess you could say that. And on the back, we have a collection of languages. So we've got English at the top. It says a social media account post status tracker, 64 by 64 mobile app programmable LED. Um, the app that works with this is the same app that works with all the Devoom products. Very easy to use. Easy pixel art and animation creation process. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, online pixel art gallery and users community. Again, they have a great community. Uh, let's see, daily functions and what's that say? Evolving mobile application. Mm. All right, let's open it up. I've got to say, I do like the packing. It's uh, quite premium. All right, let's uh, get the knife in there. All right, let's put that over there. All right, so. Nice uh, silver Devoom logo there on the box. It's got a, quite a bit of weight to it as well, this thing. It's not, uh, it's not exactly light. Okay, yeah, unboxing's good. I see. It's, uh, it's in there well and truly. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice to see it's padded on the bottom. Let's put that over there. I presume this is going to be our power cable. Let's take a look. Okay, here we got some uh, screws so we can wall mount it, I guess. Some screws there. Oh, okay, there's our power cable now. That's a nice cable. Can you see that? That is a very nice braided USB C cable. Quite long as well. That's got to be a good couple of meters, maybe two meters on there. Not bad, not bad. This is just a bit of cardboard, okay. We have the manual. All right, so that'll tell us how to set it up and so on. Okay, oh, not too long, only a couple of pages there, all right. And QC past and the device itself. All right, let's take a look at this. It's got a Devoom sticker on it. I gotta say the packing is quite well. It is quite good, I should say. Oh, there it is. Ah, well, 
Yeah, you can tell this is an early version. It's got fingerprints on it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Fingerprints on it. Oh, man. A couple of scratches as well. Now, Devoom have said that this is an earlier version. Um, as I said, it is on Kickstarter at the moment. So hopefully when they do ship this uh, for real, um, and you're going to get a, a bit of a screen saver on there, screen guard, so it's not going to um, come with fingerprints and scratches on it. It's got a little bit of a scratch on there. Yeah. Anyway, can't complain because it was given to me for free. Down here we've got a couple of holes. I wonder if they would be uh, for speaker or microphone. And on the back, we can see it's uh, got a nice little design there. I'm not sure what's going on there. Is that like a kickstand or something? We've got some hooks, so we can hang on the wall. Um, micro SD card pre-installed. Let's see if we can get that out. All right, what have we got here? We have got oh, a 512 megabyte micro SD card. I presume that's got the firmware on it, and so um, we'll check that out later on the PC. Can't get it back in now. And next to that we've got the USB-C power input. So I'm wondering um, if there's some sort of kickstand on here. I don't know what this is. Ah, here we go. I see, I see, I see. It's kind of... Just lift up. Ah, all right, and this would clip into the back, I presume, here. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, it just slides in there. And also, I noticed at the bottom, look at this, it's got some tripod mounts as well, so you could, um, don't know what you do with it, really. You could put on a tripod, I guess. Interesting. Oh, and there's a tripod mount on the top as well. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see. How do we switch it on? Oh, okay. On the side, we got a power and a brightness rocker. Okay, so let's uh, just press that power switch, see if it's got any juice. Nope. Okay, so no built-in battery, which means we've got to plug it in. All right. Let me plug it in. Okay, as soon as we put in the power, we get this screen here, waiting to configure. So I've got the app installed on the phone, but there doesn't seem to be any way to configure this from the app. So let's see if pressing the button on the side does anything. Uh, it's not touch screen, is it? No. Okay, let's uh, hold down the power button there. Does nothing. Okay. Um, All right, looks like I'm going to have to check out the manual. I thought I could do this without looking at the manual, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. I'll be back in a second. Okay, figure out what you need to do. You need to switch on the Bluetooth on your phone, go to the Devoom app, and go to me. And we should have a device. Okay, add device. And now it should be searching for the device here. As you can see, there's some devices which I've had in the past, the TV one, and we had this clock one as well. Okay, so this should be, ah, there we go. Pixu 64, it's found it. So let's uh, connect to that. Oh, got to put in my Wi-Fi password, just a minute. Okay, we can see it's connecting. Got the countdown timer going there. So it's a, uh... oh. All right, it looks like we're connected. Update available. Oh, go on then. I suppose we'll have to. But as you can see, um, it's looking pretty good on that screen there, isn't it? Not too bad. Oh, that's uh, pretty nice. So we've got some uh, different animations going on. All right, so what we'll do, we'll just do the update on the uh, phone here, and then we'll get back to this. Okay, we're nearly there. It looks like we're getting to the end of the download. Hopefully it won't reset and all that. Let's see what will happen. All right, Devoom logo. 64, okay. 
By the way, that beep sound you heard came from the uh, actual uh, screen. And I've just noticed this might actually have a plastic covering on it because there's air bubbles here. So uh, we'll see if we can take that off later on. All right, it looks like we're, looks like we're on. Okay, so first thing I want to do is check out this animation here, which I just saw at this Kiki's delivery service there. Um, where's it gone? I saw an excellent animation just a moment ago. Okay, these are the two I wanted to show you. This one here, which looks awesome, and this one here. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this one and see what it looks like on here. Not bad. That's uh, pretty decent, isn't it? Okay, let's take a look at the other one. Uh, this is the one I wanted to check out. This one looks pretty cool as well. Mmm. That's not bad at all, is it? I quite like that. All right, so as you can see, it makes for a pretty interesting interactive um, display or interactive photograph uh, viewer, if you can call them photographs. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, ooh, this one looks a bit trippy. Let's see what this one looks like. Hmm, interesting. But you know, that's just one aspect of this. The main thing that I wanted to check this out for was the uh, live stats. So I'm going to connect this to my YouTube account. Let's see how easy that is. Okay, I've worked it out. It's very simple actually. So you can actually connect different channels and stuff using the app. So what you do is you go down here to the channel section and you can see we've got different types of channels. So we've got various types of clocks. So we can have like this clock and you can customize it wherever. Um, We've got stocks, different games. So we've got League of Legends there, Apex Legends, Overwatch, Fortnite. So we can have a Fortnite thing and so on. Christmas clock, Advent calendar, you know, all sorts of things like world clocks, whatever. And you've even got uh, a pixel message board as well. But what I want to do is have a clock with my YouTube channel on. So I'm going to put uh, this one here which is YouTube accounts. You can also do it for individual videos by the looks of it. We've got Twitch streams as well. Uh, Billy Billy, that's uh, the Chinese version of uh, YouTube. No point putting that on. Um, Twitter, all sorts of things there. So we're gonna go with YouTube, YouTube account. And it defaults to the Devoom channel. So what you do is you uh, Let's see, oh, I've got all these in my account now. I don't want all those in my account. Okay, so we go here and the set channel. So we've got to search for retro core without spaces, I believe. And there you go, retro core. So let's select that and done. As you can see, it's now working and that's correct. Retro core channel, and we've also got the time down there. That is the correct time, as you can see on the. Actually, no, it's not, is it? It's uh, six minutes past nine. That's a six minutes past eight. <laughs> well, the date's correct. Um, oh, well, got to fix that somehow. Okay. Anyway, so that's how you get your um, stats on this thing. You know, your live stream counts and whatever. But we got a few other options on here as well. So. That's just my clock. So you have different sections like a clock, a visualizer and so on, but they call them channels. So if I go to the cloud channel, I can choose something else. So at the moment it's on random gallery, but I can choose um, like favorite artist or whatever, um, or I can choose to basically put anything I want on there. The visualizer is basically a sound visualizer. So we can have different visualizations. As you can see, if I shut up, then I start speaking again. You can see that works. Um, there is a lot of background noise in this room because I've got the aircon and the fan on, but you can also change the different types of visualization. Not sure how that one works. Maybe the squares get bigger. Let's see what this one does. All right, and when we talk, yeah, we get the lines in the background. Maybe this one might be a bit more interesting. Or maybe not. Oh, okay, that should be a good one. Tell you what, let's check it out with a bit of music. Uh, let's see, what have we got on the phone?
Okay, it kind of works. Okay. You get the idea. We have an HDMI. All right, so there's that. Okay, let's get back to the app. Okay, and um, we can also do a custom channel as well, where we can put whatever we want into it. So as you can see, that's just the test page, test page here. But I put that on just to see if it works, and it does. All right, so that's that. Okay, so hopefully if we go back to clocks, it should be on my YouTube. Yes, it is. All right. Now you can actually change. Oh, no, no, no. We want to stay on the clock, please. Get back on the clock. Here we go. Now you can actually change channels and so on without having to use the app. Once you've got it set up, you can control everything from the button on the side. So pushing on the down button will change to the different channels. So this is the uh, random gallery channel which it was set up automatically you can change that to whatever you want there we have the visualizer and finally will be that custom channel I set up so you don't need the phone app once you've got it set up you can control everything from the actual button on the side so that switches it off and one more we'll go back to the clock there you go so yeah very simple to use and I am a little bit surprised because it didn't tell me how to set this up in the manual. I had to figure it out myself using the app, but it wasn't that difficult. It was very easy. So what I'm going to do is just leave it running now and show you some of the lovely artwork that people have put up on here. And you can do your own artwork as well. All right. So until next time, guys, take it easy. Keep on gaming. Enjoy your games. And maybe... Go and check out the Kickstarter that this is on because I think this is a pretty cool device. I'll put the link in the video description down below. Okay, take it easy guys. See ya.